PES P505 Base Power Meter Unboxing and Installation Preparations Get the PES P505 Base Power Meter and necessary tools ready, including hex keys of 5mm, 6mm, and 10mm, a torque wrench, and a BB44 16T wrench. Unbox PES P505 Base Power Meter. In the package, there are one pair of PES crank sets, one spider based power meter, one lock ring conversion kit, one set of chain ring bolts, one magnetic charging cable, six power meter stickers, one quick start guide, and one important product information. Unbox the chain rings one larger chain ring, one smaller chain ring, and one instruction manual. Install the spider based power meter. Install the spider-based power meter by aligning the right crank flute based on the power meter's press-in direction instructions. Rotate the lock ring. Use the 16-tooth bottom bracket removal tool with an outer diameter of 44 mm and the conversion kit. Tighten the lock ring clockwise. There is a 3 8 inch square hole left on the removal tool to be used with the middle size torque wrench. The tightening torque for the lock ring is 35 to 40 Nm. Install the chain rings. Place the larger and smaller chain rings on each side of the power meter. Attach the chain drop prevention pin of the larger chain ring facing the inner side of the crank. Align the flute of the smaller chain ring with the chain drop prevention pin. Please note that the marked surface of the smaller chain ring should be attached facing the bottom bracket side. Use a 6mm hex key to tighten the screws on the back. And tighten the chain ring bolts with a torque wrench set to 8 Nm. If the chain ring bolts need to be replaced, make sure you tighten them to the torque recommended by the manufacturer. Mount to the bicycle. Please confirm that the bike's bottom bracket is Shermano 24mm configuration. If it's not, please replace it first. Firstly, take the pedals off the original cranks. Loosen the right pedal by turning it counterclockwise, while the left pedal is rotated clockwise. Remove your chain ring from the frame. Insert the right crank into the bottom bracket and then install the chain. You may tap it gently to get the crank fully in place. After that, insert the left crank into the bottom bracket and gradually tighten the big screw at the side of it. Set the torque wrench to 12 to 14 Nm and tighten the left crank screw with the 5 mm hex key. Set the torque wrench to 10 to 12 Nm. Gradually tighten the big screw at the side of it. Finally, attach the left and right pedals to the cranks, respectively. Tighten the right side clockwise and the left side counterclockwise. Activation Calibration. Charge the power meter fully. Open the Magine Utility Software. Click Add New Device. Pay attention to the ID to select your power meter model and click. Input your email address or phone number. Magine Utility will send the verification code to your email or mobile phone. Input the verification code and click Activate. Display Success. Click Completed. Select your power meter device and click it. Click the Zero Calibration button. Click Calibrate and wait. Display Calibration Success indicates that the calibration has been completed. Click Completed.